Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. Hope things are going well in your world. I'm doing a gift request of Nat Myers. He's new to the channel. As far as I recall, I've done over 3,000 reactions and reviews, but I do not recall doing something by Nat Myers. Pray for rain. And uh, Luke Park, L Park 13, made a gift to the channel for me to do this. Luke, thank you for this, my friend. And I just want to find out why Nat wants to pray for rain, obviously. But is it literal, metaphorical? Like, my brain goes to work immediately when I see words put together in any context, especially a title, whether it's a book, a song title. But I'm like, all right, where could this go? It's part of the fun of doing reactions or just listening to music and then seeing if you were on the right track, even with just a snippet. Pray for rain. Let's find out what this is about. Oh, I like these videos. Western as you know the word. I'll put yeah. you in mother lock it, drag you around my back pocket, carry you with me every day. I'm gonna build you a garden somewhere to put your heart in. All we gotta do is pray for rain. For the garden. Pray for rain, pray for rain. Hope it don't go down the drain. Won't be no more raisin cane. We both pray for rain. I love this guy's voice. And delivery. I still want more I ain't walking out the door I'm hoping for That you feel the same We've been working Nine to five Done our best to stay alive And all we gotta do is Pray for rain Pray for rain Pray for rain Hope it don't go down the drain Won't be no more raising we both pray for rain. We'll play it out some now and then. Step on. When I'm out on my long haul, and I call you. You start by Spreading this away I told you once and I tell you twice That I'm gonna be your every loving man for life And all we gotta do is pray for rain I'm just gonna pause for a second This is way too enjoyable Alright, we're close to the end of the song it turns out I was so mesmerized I forgot I was doing a reaction half, half of it Pray for rain Pray for rain, hope it don't go down the drain. Won't be no more raisin cane. We both pray for rain. Yeah, may not. He's a young dude, too. I say step on. Sir. <laughs> I got boots like those. All right. He enjoyed himself a lot. I'm guessing he wrote that. I don't know if he covered it. I'm just going to operate on the premise that he wrote that because he loved that. He loved singing that song. Now, he sung this song, I'm guessing, hundreds of times by the time he did it here because that's just generally the way it goes with a song. But not, not, I mean, he may have a lot of songs like that. He's a very comfortable picker, too. I really like his picking. I wonder who his influences were because that's blues. That, like, it, it's not, I mean, the song itself was a happy song, really, the way he sang it. But it, it, the derivation was bluesy. Let's put it that way, the way he was coming across with it. But it, uh, 
man, some people find the right thing in life not to do, but that they are. Like, it seems like he, whatever he does for a living, I'm not sure. Maybe he does this for a living, but if not, this is a thing. This is a place. I don't want to see where he belongs, but he, I love it when people find a spot where what they want to do and who they are are in agreement with one another. And it seems like he's found that. He just seems so peaceful. Like for some people, you could tell when they're on stage or when they're performing or playing, it's their church. It's their temple. It's their holy space. Like this is where, like I have a particular friend of mine, known her since kindergarten, and her holy space is putting a tent on her back and going out in the woods for 10 days. And you're like, I can't relate to that at all. Like, that is definitely not my thing. I see it in her. I know it. It's how she's lived her whole life, basically. But there are some performers where you look, and this based on one song and one review, let's put it that way, uh, one view, Luke, that that is it for Nat. Nat, this just seems to be the place he wants to be. But then again, it could be one of these things where you could just be happy in the moment because you're at a new venue, they're interested in you, they want to record you, it could be partially launching more of your career, and you're happy about that. I didn't get that vibe only from him. I mean, he was happy doing what he was doing, but I got the sense that he really loved that song. And I was also noticing that like... Uh, I don't know what you call that clamp thing that comes down the fret to, you know, I guess it makes the pitch higher on the strings because it shortens them. But I don't know if that's harder to pick. I, I know you practice the song when you're picking, but it seems like you'd just be a little bit more cramped up. But I, I guess you could get used to that. Plus, if you write the song to be pitched like that, then that's what you're going to do. Uh, and you're going to practice it that way, and you'd be somewhat comfortable with it. But it seems like it would be a little bit more restrictive. You pickers out there could tell me about that. But Luke, yeah, you found another gem. You and Montauk Ed, Jeff Cather, folks, you guys just find these off the beaten track artists who are so, there's so many good artists out there. Um, I couldn't tell how old that was or is, but he looked to be a young man with a, just a good, did he have an old, he seemed to have a youthful soul with an older performance wisdom, if that makes sense. Because he, he looks like a dude who just seems to have fun in life. But uh, And I love that. I love seeing that. So, all right, I'm going to rate my experience with this. I don't know how much time you take to pick these, Luke. But I know because I tend to rate songs. I don't always. Depends. You know, some songs I don't. If they're homages to other people or or something to that effect, I don't rate them. But yeah, I know that you guys, I've learned that you guys really uh, put some thought into getting higher ratings. But I mean, that doesn't influence how I rate songs. If I like them, if I feel a thing, I go with it. But I, gosh, I really did enjoy this. I think it was partly, it was his face, his facial expression that he just seemed to be enjoying himself during this, and that just made me feel good watching it. But I liked the song. I liked his voice. I loved his voice. I loved his patience. All right, so the number that popped into my head was a 9.3. It doesn't have to be this mind-blowing eight-piece band with two fiddles and a man, you know, a mandolin, and it doesn't have to be that. I mean, that was good stuff. So, all right, guys. You can thank L Park 13, a.k.a. Luke, for that one. And that, should you see this, well done, my friend. That was some good stuff right there. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.